Hello everyone, uh, today we're going to be taking a look at another one of these mini consoles, uh, the TurboGrafx-16 Mini. Uh, the TurboGrafx-16, to be honest, I don't have much experience with. Growing up, we had, and really at my age, growing up, like the first system I hadn't really played was the Super Nintendo. We had a regular Nintendo, too. I had some friends that had Segas, you know, the Genesis, and one friend had the Master System, and no, I didn't know anybody who had a TurboGrafx-16. <laughs> <laughs> These mini consoles, actually, I've got a few of them now. This will be my fourth one. I have the NES Classic, the SNES Classic, and the Mini PlayStation. That one really bombed, but I got a great deal on that, and that thing's awesome. So Konami ended up making this, and you can see this. I think there's something like 50-plus games on it. There's TurboGrafx-16, and then PC Engine. This was called the PC Engine in other countries, and actually looked different, too. So there's different versions of this mini console sold in different countries. Let's take a look. So to be honest, I don't know a ton about the TurboGrafx, so uh, nice art. This is very similar to uh, what Nintendo did. There we go. Okay, so that's it. And we've got a, a manual here. I'm assuming it warnings and... Uh, how to set it up, and first let's take a look at the controller, and again, I have very little experience with this, so uh, it looks an awful lot like a regular Nintendo controller, except it's got turbo buttons, uh, the D-pad is different, but other than that, this looks a lot like a regular Nintendo controller. And the cable, nice and long, they didn't go the route Nintendo did, but they made these way too short on both systems. I had to get extension cables for them. I think Sony's was too short too, so that looks nice and long, that's great. Uh, i got an HDMI cable in this bag here. I'm not going to open this. And this would be a USB cable. And then I will need to get a power brick, basically like a charging power brick for a phone. Um, you can plug that into it and it'll work. And now, take a look at the console. Cool, so there it is. Um, it's got a fake cartridge slot. On the front here, we've got two USB ports, which would be for the controller and a slide switch that turns it on and off. Uh, when you turn this on and off, it, it, there's a red indicator that appears, and it also, this is where it used to lock the cartridges in. And uh, so this would be the US version of this uh, console. And then on the back here, let's see how this removes. Okay, there it locks in right here, <laughs> and then that slides out. Here's where your HDMI goes in, uh, but that's where your power goes in, and then once you get the cables in, you can put this cover on and it hides them. Okay, so yeah, and like I said, setting it up looks like it would be really easy. I will need to get a power brick for this cord. Just basically any, any power brick that you would use for your phone will work with this. Um, but there you have it. So this comes with over 50 games. And like I said, I don't have much experience with the Turbo Graphics or the games. So I'm excited to check this out. Hopefully there's some stuff on here that I really like. I've had a lot of fun with these little mini consoles. I think they're, they can be fun with friends. And uh, I've gotten a lot of use out of the, uh, the other ones that I have. Uh, along with the console, I also purchased an extra controller, and uh, this is made by a brand called Hori, and this is the official controller, or extra controller for this console. And as you can see, it's made for the PC Engine Mini, but it'll, obviously it's the same as the Turbo Graphics controller, it's just a different color. So, uh, there it is. Uh, it says here in Japanese, Turbo Pad. So I guess that's what they were called. And uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look here. I'm assuming like the other uh, controller, it's got a 10-foot cable, which is uh, really, really nice of them to do that. So you have, uh, the instructions are just in Japanese. One thing that's kind of funny about this is that uh, <laughs> a lot of the games on the console are in Japanese, and uh, this is clearly just a Japanese uh, controller made for that version. But there it is. That looks really nice. Uh, and you got your D-pad, you got your two buttons, then you can set your turbo buttons for both, and a select and run button. Kind of trying to differentiate themselves from Nintendo. And then it says here, it looks like it says HE system, which is also on the box. And again, a nice long cable, so here's the extra controller for it. One, you know, it's a little bit more ergonomic than a regular Nintendo controller. It's uh, not completely uh, blocky. It's got these rounded edges. And it is, it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty comfortable. It's okay. So there you have it. There's the extra controller too. So now I've got the whole kit. The TurboGrafx-16 Mini is thin, but pretty wide. You can see here it has a much larger footprint than similar mini consoles. In fact, both the SNES Classic and the PlayStation Classic can easily fit on top of the TurboGrafx Mini. 
One welcome addition is the extra long 10 foot controller cable. The cable is double the length of the SNES Classic and over three times longer than the NES Classic. Outside of wireless controllers, this is a great option, and in my setup, I can easily play sitting across the room. The HDMI and power cable route through the back cover, and the cover keeps them hidden. Because a power adapter isn't included, here's a spare one I had, which works fine for this. Uh, I just set up the system and turned it on for the first time. So one of the things that I like about these old consoles is you get a really nice interface and they're just plug and play, so they're really easy. Uh, hitting uh, run and select on the controller will bring up this menu, which lets you uh, use a save state. So let's go ahead and save. And each game has four save states. That's another thing about these mini consoles I like. So you have a lot of quality of life stuff. Uh, and then when you're in this menu at the bottom, it says you can hit select to reset the game, go back, or confirm. But then you also have the option to return to the menu. And then in the lower right corner, and this takes you to all of the uh, Japanese games. Admittedly, some of these Japanese games have a pretty steep language barrier, but I'm still uh, glad that they're here. The system was a collaboration between Hudson Soft and a company called NEC, and there are a lot of Hudson Soft games on here, uh, including the Strange Croquet game from 1988. So there you have it. The TurboGrafx-16 Mini does what it sets out to do very well. The console has a nice user interface with quality of life features such as save states. The system is plug and play and has a ton of games. I also like the included controller and the extra long controller cable. The TurboGrafx was released in 1989 in the US and was slightly before my time and fairly uncommon, so there's a lot of content here that will be totally new for me. I think that if this is something you're interested in, you'll really enjoy it. Currently, the system and controller are Amazon exclusives. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And as always, thank you for watching and have a great day.